Hey everyone, it's Abby. I had been wanting to make my husband a Regency gentleman's outfit for the Bridgetown Ball that we went to in May. I started compiling patterns and researching fabrics and ideas after we bought tickets last year. I wanted to use all natural fibers for these outfits as they're more comfortable and breathable and my husband overheats easily. I was excited to delve into menswear as I don't have a lot of experience in that area. I usually start from the inner layers to the outer layers on my outfits, so my husband's was no exception. I'm starting with the linen shirt with the high collar and large puffy sleeves. So let's get sewing! I'm using Black Snail Regency Men's Shirt Pattern 521. I lay out the doubled white linen fabric. I start with laying out the shirt body pieces along the fold edge. I pin and cut that long piece out. I'm placing the marks along the edge of the body piece. You can see I added a bit to the pattern as the measurements were slightly bigger than the pattern. I do this quite a bit throughout these projects as my husband is rather tall. I fold the pattern piece down and cut the neck hole. I also cut down along the front for the front slit. I lay out the smaller pattern pieces on doubled fabric and pin in place. I cut those pieces out. I transfer the pattern marks to my pieces. I make cuts where indicated while folding the pattern piece out of the way. I 
I lay out the sleeve piece along the fold of doubled fabric and pin in place. I cut out the sleeve with extra length. I cut the second sleeve out off camera. I hand whip stitch a tiny hem along the front edges of the front slit in the middle of the body piece. I go right up to the bottom edge and back up. This will be reinforced in a later step. I grab my neck reinforcement pieces. I need to insert the gusset. Following directions, I finger fold the hem into the gusset and pin it to the slit cut in the shoulder piece, lining up the raw edges underneath. I hand sew that in place on the outside with tiny whip stitches. You could also machine sew most of these seams if you like. I just prefer the look of the hand sewing, plus it's relaxing for me. I finger press the quarter inch hem all along the edge of the shoulder piece. I pin the center of the shoulder piece to the center of the shoulder body along the marks indicated in the pattern. The edge of the gusset lines up with the end of the neck slit that was cut across the middle of the body piece where the shoulders are. I pin all along the edges of the shoulder piece hem. This is the outside of the shirt. I hand whip stitch the shoulder piece in place with tiny visible stitches. I clip the corner and along the edges of the gusset. I fold the gusset to the inside and pin in place, lining it up with itself on the other side, creating a triangle. I hand sewed that in place off camera, similar to the other seams.
I pinned the edges of the collar piece with the hem finger pressed up, and machined sew along both side edges. I clipped the corners and edges of the collar seams. I turn the collar right side out and finger press. I machine sew two rows of gathering stitches around the whole neck edge, even along the double thick gusset. I place pins at the center back and the two sides along the neck, and also at quarter intervals. I made two different widths of collar to try on my husband. He chose the shorter of the two, so I'm using that one. I place pins on the outside of the collar at the same intervals. I match up the neck and collar pins in center back and pin in place while lining up the raw edges underneath. I found out the thick gusset would not gather, so I separate out the front and back gathering. I will hand gather the gusset part. I gather the neck and line up the pins along the neck and collar edges as I go. I pin the neck gathers to the collar. Using the gathering threads, I hand gather along the gusset. I gather using both threads, it's just a bit unwieldy otherwise. Now that it's all pinned on, I hand whip stitch the collar to the neck edge, being sure to keep the back of the collar out of the way and catching the folds of the gathering.
I pin and hand sew the back of the collar down as well, lining it up with the front. I machine sew two rows of gathering stitches along the shoulder edge of the sleeve pieces. I place a pin at the center and line up the centers at the shoulder. I line up the marks and place a pin. I gather the rest of the shoulder of the sleeve to fit and pin in place. I machine sew the sleeve to the body of the shoulder. I line up the marks along the body sides and pin in place. I pin along the body side seam. I line up the marks along the sleeve seam and pin. I pin along the sleeve seam. I machine sew the sleeve seam from mark to mark. I machine sew the side body seam from mark to mark. It's time to insert the underarm gussets. I line up the raw edges along the four sides of the gusset and pin in place. I hand stitch the gusset seam using a running back stitch and the indicated seam allowance. I trim the underarm gusset seam on the inside. I'm going to be hand felling the seams to hide the raw edges. I 
I figure out which sides of which seams to trim for the felled seams and trim. I want to enclose the gathering where possible. I also clip corners where needed. I fold under raw edges, pin, and hand fell the seams on the inside. I turn under the raw edges of the sleeve slits and hand whip stitch those as well. I finger press the bottom hem edge up, turn under the raw edges and pin in place. I hand whip stitch the hem. I get out the tiny cuff gusset and finger press the edges in. I fold the gusset in half to create a triangle. I pin the gusset to the center of the sleeve seam near the cuff edge. I wrap it around and pin it to the other side, matching the ends up and stretching it a bit on the bias. I hand whip stitch all along the edges. I get out the heart patch and clip the top middle. I fold under all the raw edges to the inside. I pin the heart to the end of the front neck split on the inside. This will reinforce that weak spot right at the center front of the shirt. I hand whip stitch the heart patch in place.
I hand sew a bar tack right above the heart patch. This will keep the front from creating stress and possible rips. Extra assurance, essentially. I pin and machine sew the ends of the cuff pieces. I clip corners and seams of the cuff pieces. I turn right side out and finger press. I machine sew gathering stitches along the cuff edge of the sleeve. I place pins at the center and quarter intervals of the cuff edge of the sleeve and along the outside of the cuff. I line up the center pins and pin in place, similar to doing the collar. I line up the rest of the pins and pin in place. I gather the sleeve in between the pins. I pin the gathers to the cuff. I hand whip stitch the cuff to the sleeve on the outside. I pin and hand sew the cuff to the sleeve on the inside. I hand sewed buttonholes, two on each cuff and one at the collar. I sewed buttons on off camera. And there we go, a completed linen Regency men's shirt. Thank you for joining me today as I made my husband a linen Regency men's shirt. 
I really love how it turned out, and I can fit into it too. I found this shirt to be more detailed than the generic pirate shirts I've made in the past. I found it really interesting how much construction goes into historic Regency shirts. Stay tuned for the next part in the series. I'll be making a pair of Regency pantaloon trousers. Happy sewing! Two doggies, two doggies. Don't know why I always need two doggies. Hi, Binks. Hi, yes, you're very cute. <sighs> yeah, I do. I, it's always about the petting. All the petting. Hi, Diane. She's cute too. Yeah. <laughs>